I found this spotlight on Amazon. It was less than a hundred bucks. Brand new spotlight. It's not specific for any of my vehicles. However, it is the same size as far as I can tell as the ones that fit the Crown Victorias. And so I'm going to try to make this work on my Dodge Charger since I already have one on my 2010 P7B and there was never a spot for a spotlight on my 2008 so I really don't want to drill into that and, and modify it. But both of my 2010 vehicles had spotlights that were removed and so I put one in the 2010 P7B and now I'm going to put one in the 2010 Charger assuming that I can make this work. I don't like duplicating work but I drilled out what I had previously filled and took the screws out of there and lo and behold this lines up with it so I should be able to just pop that on there tighten down the old screws something like that obviously the distance of this will be determined later but So this will give it a much cleaner, more factory look and still seal out any water. When you put this piece on, you want this rod through it with this bushing to be able to fit into there like that. And then it's going to lock onto there. lock this down yet so I can adjust the depth. It just fishes right through there. And you can adjust these two Allen keys to make it firm. Like right now it's really loose. Make sure the bushing is flush. And then you have an eighth inch Allen key screw or bolt here. And you just want to snug that all the way down against that bushing. And that keeps the shaft from moving other than the rotation of the spotlight itself. Then I'll reinstall my original A pillar cover, which had the spotlight hole drilled through it. It's a 1 8 Allen key to tighten or loosen. This one adjusts how tight it is this way. And this one adjusts how tight it is rotationally. On the charger, your spotlight power is basically tucked up behind there. So you reach up there and pull it down. It's a red with white stripe wire on the driver's side. And I'm shooting this from memory, but I think it's red with blue on the passenger side if you're installing on the passenger side. Uh, I checked mine, it does have 12 volts to it, so I'm trying to figure out what sort of connector to put in there or just try to rig something up. So this fits it, it's one of those little mini spade connectors so I'm going to crimp that onto the end of the spotlight wire. Check it should be good. If you're going to utilize your spotlight with power it's a more surgical deal than just popping this back on. So you got to fish your wire through here and have it ready to go. Spotlight. 
this lined up. Three eighths inch bolt. So anyway, I've got it on here now, and as you can see, I have light, so it's at least working. Now I just gotta tuck this wire up behind here so it's not in the way. I have a working spotlight, not that I really need one, but I guess if I'm out at the shop and it's late and dark, I can turn this on and light up something. I'll keep the regular bulb in it for now, but if you've seen my Crown Vic video, uh, it's about 30 bucks to put an LED bulb in it, and I'll do that whenever this bulb burns out. I'm not going to change it out now since I really don't need it. If I was on duty patrol or something, I probably would go ahead and do it, but since I don't need a spotlight, this is just more of a cosmetic thing. I don't really care what the, what the bulb is for right now. Hope this was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And please tell your friends about my channel. Thank you very much.